and welcome to the PC America reseller training series. My name is Adam Mora and I'm the sales engineer that will be conducting today's training. Today we're going to be discussing customer loyalty. Let's get started. When you first click on the software, this brings you into your invoice screen. On your invoice screen, on the top right, you have three options, manager, help, and exit. Manager allows you to make any kind of back office changes or any adjustments that need to be made in the software. Help stores all of our FAQ knowledge, so if you're struggling with any aspect of the software, you can refer to our help menu. Exit allows you to exit out of the software. Manager screen. When you first click on your manager screen, you're prompted with a cashier ID and password. The password is admin on the top and the ID is 01 at the bottom. We're now going to click on setup number 4. Letter C, customer loyalty. When you click on customer loyalty, you have two options. We have loyalty incentives and loyalty plans. We're first going to click on loyalty incentives. Now this is going to be the screen where you create all your incentives. Now you have a couple types of incentives that you can add into the system. So when you hit add at the bottom of the screen here, I'll show you the different types of incentives that we offer. We have points reward, birthday bonus, so you can give customers a discount when their birthday is approaching. We have frequency discounts for customers that shop often at your location or establishment. And fire coupons, where it allows us to print out a coupon that you can present that the customer can present to the cashier when they receive their incentive. We're going to click on points reward. And for description, we're going to type in free voucher. Give reward after how many points? Meaning it's going to take 10 points in order for the customer to receive this reward. So we're going to select free voucher and we're going to put the voucher value as five dollars. We're now going to hit save. So now we just created our incentive. Now that we created the incentive we must now apply this to the plan. So we're going to exit out of here and again we're going to click on setup number four letter C customer loyalty but this time we're gonna click on loyalty plans At the bottom of the screen here we're gonna hit add and for the description we're gonna type in the same as we did for the incentive so we're gonna hit add and we're gonna type in free voucher and now we're going to hit save and now we're going to hit add incentive. Now this is the only incentive that we added into the software so this is what's going to populate. So we hit free voucher and now it has been applied to the loyalty plan. We're going to mark this as prompt. This way the cashier or server knows that the customer is eligible for their voucher. For override this option will make the incentive available even if another incentive is set for an exclusive. Exclusive basically makes the first incentive that is selected in the list will be the only incentive that is redeemed unless override is enabled for other incentives. The most setup that customers use is just prompt and accumulate points. We're now going to hit update. So to backtrace what we just did, we are, we're going to exit out of here. And we're going to go into setup number four. We're going to go to customer loyalty and then loyalty incentives. As you can see for the description, we entered free voucher. The incentive type is points reward. And for the points, we want to make sure this is set to 10. We also set the reward as free voucher and the voucher value is $5. Now we have to associate the loyalty incentive with the plan. So we're going to just going to exit out of here, go back into setup number four, letter C, customer loyalty, and back into loyalty plans. 
as you can see, we set the description the same as the incentive as free voucher. We then hit add incentive and apply the voucher to the plan. We also mark the plan as prompt so the cashier or server knows that the customer is eligible for the plan. We also mark this as accumulate points. So now what we need to do is associate this plan with a customer in our system. So we're going to hit update and exit out of here. We're now going to go into administrative, letter E, customer maintenance. Now this is the screen where you add all of your customers into the system. But to associate the plan with the customer, we have the option right here in the middle of the screen. We're going to hit our lookup button, which shows us which shows us all of our customers that have been added into the system. And I'm going to select any any customer that I have added. So I'll select Adamora. And in the middle here, I'll select Loyalty Plan. And I'll select Free Voucher. Now as you can see here, it shows you that I have a couple points accumulated. I'm just going to make this zero so we can show you how the plan works from scratch. So now that I have the plan associated with Adam, I'm now going to hit update. Keep in mind, we have the ability to do customer loyalty in the software directly. But if you have more than one location, it is required to use a processor such as ValueTech or Mercury. So now we're going to exit out of customer maintenance and ring up a couple of transactions. Now there are two ways to accumulate points in the system. That is either by dollar point, earn bonus points for dollar amount, or by enabling points per item. Now to enable that option, we're going to go into setup number four and setup screen, letter G. We're now going to go into invoice settings on your top right. And as you can see, earn bonus points for dollars. This means if the customer spends $20, that the customer is going to get 20 points. If the customer spends $50, they're going to get 50 points. So let's hit update on that. The other way to accumulate points is to set a point per item in inventory. So we're going to go to administrative number five, letter A, inventory maintenance. And in the middle screen here, in the optional section of the, of the inventory maintenance screen, we have bonus points. And this is where you can set however many points you want your item worth. So let's exit out of here, bring up a couple transactions, and show you how the plan works. So we're going to log in. Zero 01 is our ID, and again, our password is admin. It is recommended to change this password once you become more familiarized with the software. Because anybody can figure that password out, so you do want to make sure you change that. This now brings us into our invoice screen. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select a customer that I have that plan associated with. So I'll hit find, and I'm going to select Adamora. I'm now going to make up a couple transactions to show you how we're going to accumulate points. So for this product, I should receive 190 points because that is what the price is of this item. It doesn't really calculate the, the tax, so it doesn't take that into consideration. So keep in mind, when you're earning points for the dollar amount, you're going to receive what the item is actually worth. So we're going to hit done, and we're going to hit pay. We're now going to hit cash. So now, when I hit find, I should be able to select my customer and it should show me how many points they have. And there we go. We have 190 bonus points. So next time when I bring a, pro bring a product up, it should flag me, letting me know that I'm eligible for my customer loyalty plan. So if I hit TS Lookup, we'll bring up one more product. Let's just say a candy, because we're already over the amount of points. We only required 10 points in order to use the incentive. So let's ring up a candy, $2.14, and we're going to hit pay. There you go. It tells me right off the bat that I'm eligible for my bonus award. I'm now going to hit yes, and to show you what it looks like on the invoice. 
So what it's going to do is it's going to give me a free voucher for free, but it's also going to print it out for $5. Basically, this is going to be a separate receipt that prints after the first receipt with a barcode on it so you know exactly what the voucher is worth. So now we're going to hit cash. Okay, and like I said, you know, it's only 10 points that are required to use that voucher. So when I go back into my customer loyalty, I should be down to 180 points. So if I hit find, I'm going to select Adamora, and there I am. My points have decreased. And that is how customer loyalty works.